Welcome to our interactive React 101 course. We're going to display a list of Star Wars characters in an app that we'll build using the new e-learning capabilities in CodeMix 3. All right, let's get started. In the CodeMix view, let's click the React button and then select the React 101 tutorial. The tutorial has created a basic React project for us and you could create something similar using our React project wizard as well. Now we press Control Shift P or Command Shift P if you're on the Mac to open the command palette and uh, we're going to use the create integrated terminal command to open a terminal that's specific to this project. We're going to go ahead and uh, run the npm install command to download our node dependencies. Now this process will normally take a couple of minutes and I'd like to point out that our terminal will also download node and npm for you if you don't already have those uh, installed on your system. So now let's go ahead and create, create our React component. We are going to call it Star Wars People, and we're going to be using JSX, which is a syntax extension to JavaScript. You'll see how this makes UI design a lot easier soon enough. Now we're going to use an import snippet to help us import uh, the component class and the React class from the React module. Now in this next step, we're going to go ahead and create our Star Wars People class and we'll make it extend the component class. Now by default, Content Assist will appear as you type and it generally makes your life a lot easier, but you can change that behavior if you don't like it. We're going to also define a simple constructor as well. Now I don't care to enter the rest of this initialization code and I'm going to click next and have the tutorial do that for me. Nice. We're coming to the bits now that do most of the work. We're going to use the relatively new fetch API, uh, which is a replacement to XML HTTP request, uh, to fetch the data we're interested in from the Star Wars web service. So I'm going to go ahead and let the tutorial fill in the correct URL later, uh, but I'm going to type out bits of this code so you can see the IntelliSense in action. Observe that you not only get hints for method names, but you get hints for parameters and documentation as well. Again, if you don't like this, you can turn it off. There's a lot more code here. I'm going to let the tutorial pick that up. And we are also tapping into a React lifecycle method called component did mount. This is called when the component is inserted into the tree. And this is when we decide to call the fetch Star Wars people method we defined earlier to get our list of Star Wars characters. Now, in this next step, we're going to write the code that renders the HTML. Now, uh, there's a lot of code here. And instead of copying and pasting it in from the tutorial, which you can do, of course, typing will give you a better feel and understanding uh, of the framework you're working with, especially if you're learning. So I recommend looking at the tutorial pane and typing out the same code um, in your editor. Here's the interesting JSX bit we were talking about earlier. We're using markup directly in our JavaScript code. We can directly reference JavaScript variables without having to do any sort of string manipulation. The huge wins are content assist, auto closing tags, and validation as well. Now, what's this markup doing? It's creating React elements that describe what you want to see in the browser. And React takes care of updating the DOM to match your React elements. Finally, we go ahead and make Star Wars People the default export from this component so that we can use it elsewhere in our application. We head on over to index.js, which is the JavaScript entry point for our application, and you can see that it's currently set to simply render hello world. We're going to import our Star Wars people component and replace the hello world with a reference to our component. And that's it. We're ready to test our application. In the terminal view, we enter npm run start to serve the application. And this will ask you about some defaults and ultimately automatically open the browser for you where you can see our list of Star Wars characters. 
Be sure to let us know how you like this tutorial and go on to the next React tutorial or perhaps try our Vue or Angular series. If you have any questions, leave us a comment here or reach out to us on Twitter. Do subscribe for more. Thanks.